And welcome back. So don't be alarmed as we will be coming to you uh, slightly later because we just want to cross over to Leanne to find out exactly where she is at. Uh, remember I said she's in Guguletu in the Western Cape this morning. And uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, basically zooming in and drilling down to take a look at uh, some of the socioeconomic challenges faced in a township such as Guguletu because that, of course, is a microcosm of what broader township situations are like across the country. So let's go now to Guguletu, where Leanne Manis is uh, coming from this morning. Leanne, good morning, and uh, please tell us where you are and what we can expect today. Sakina, a very, very good morning to you and good morning to you, South Africa, as well. Yes, indeed, I think you're giving it a great explanation as what we're actually doing here. So just to set the scene for you, we are in Guguletu. We're at the Guguletu Shopping Center. And what we're trying to do, and I think that it's a, a fantastic initiative to actually come into communities. We're leaving politicians out of this talk. We're talking to the community. We are finding what it's like living in South Africa, but in areas where people don't tend to give enough attention and people don't tend to talk to the issues that affect the citizens of this country. So today our cameras bring us to Guguletu and we've got a lot of role players that have actually gathered here, but from the community. We are listening to the community today. We are passing the microphone to them and we are hearing their story. So it should be interesting. Uh, of course, Guguletu right next to Nyanga. Nyanga, the murder capital of, uh, as my executive producer uh, Lunko Jimlongo explained it, the murder capital of the world and it has been that way for many many years and not much has changed and we find that situation getting worse the army coming in uh, we see rampant gangsterism we see gender-based violence on another level in fact there's going to be a march today starting at 10 o'clock from the community that are marching against gender-based violence I want to get a little bit more detail though as to what to expect today and also from the organization that's represented here I'm speaking to Vince Domingo who's the general secretary of the Google to Development Forum. Vincent, thanks so much and uh, welcome to Morning Live. Yeah, uh, Morning Len, how are you? Very well, very well. It's great to be here. So, as we're mentioning, we, we're trying to get a sense of what it is like in different areas, different townships in South Africa. Guguletu, possibly our first stop actually on this. Talk to us about what your major concerns are here. Uh, thanks, Leanne, and also to your, your listeners. Uh, welcome to Guguletu. Uh, Guguletu is our pride. Uh, my name is Vincent Domingo the Secretary of General Secretary of Kukuletu Development Forum. Uh, Liani started like this is that um, uh, we had, because we are affiliate organization, an umbrella body of the organizations in Kugul of Kukuletu here, of different sectors. Uh, it started in one of our areas here in Section 4, uh, between an area known as KTC and Kukuletu, where children uh, are involved in gangsterism. You, can you believe, Lian, uh, from the age of um, primary school, grade one, grade two, they're involved in drugs, they're involved in fighting with one another and um, because of petty things. Uh, moving to that, Lian, and this thing was started by women, women standing up and saying they have concern. Then they conducted us. We were involved in particular meetings, even with the councillor of this ward, uh, councillor Mimi Manata. We also went to a place called the Hub, where organizations like Songa Gender Justice, uh, the education schools program of comprehensive high, it's known as Nchukuma High School, that side of Kuguletu, another group of stakeholders was sitting to say that our women are being raped, our little girls, our little girls are being murdered, what are we doing about it? So we, as the umbrella board, these stakeholders came together, we said that enough is enough. This is our township, we have to claim back, uh, reclaim Kuguletu, because it is our pride. Today, this we are standing actually at our CBT, uh, where business is taking place, like a business hub. We spoke with all the stakeholders, businesses in this place, to say that today we are going to get together with our stakeholders and have what we call the shutdown. It's only for two hours, Leanne. Yeah. We spoke to our tavern associations, we spoke to our churches, uh, faith-based organizations, we spoke to our different sectors in health, um, everybody where we could get uh, them on board. They said we're excited, we have to step out the, our plate here, call the community. We also had community meetings to say that enough is enough. Today we are going to try and gather in this place 
to to hand over what we call a memorandum. So that's what I'm going to ask you, and, and if you can very quickly, in that memorandum, what are your demands and who are you handing it to? We are saying that um, our women must be safe. Our women must be protected. We must protect our women as males and our women will also protect us. That the authorities like the security cluster in our country must help us as government. We have called upon the South African Police Services, we have called upon Justice, we have called upon the City of Cape Town through the Mayor, we have called upon Provincial Government through the Premier to say that enough is enough, uh, we are going to give you a memorandum. At our police stations, we need more resources. Yeah. No? They say this is a made capital, but we want to change it in another five years to be a friendly capital with Nyanga, with Nyanga East. We are saying that um, we must have a gender-based violence centers at a police station, 24 hours. Yeah. So if the victims come in, they must be assisted. Those people must be workshopped. And, and because today we don't have anything, if you get in the police station, there's nobody with, that is professional that can help uh, those victims that was involved. Vincent, I'm going to leave it there because I know that in the next hour, these are the issues we're going to dig very deeply into and we're going to find out how we can do that and how we can, as a country, assist. And also, I want to talk to you about the, the different political changes that are happening. And if you're concerned at all, uh, you talk about the provincial government, the local government here in the Western Cape, the DA, everything that transpired yesterday. These are some of the issues that we'll talk about and uh, and how they're feeling about that and if, uh, if perhaps they worry that that is not a concern for them right now. Their issues are much bigger than that. So as you can see, giving you a sense of what's going to be happening here from Guguletu in the Western Cape, a very chilly morning as we broadcast you from the Guguletu Mall. I'm going to hand you back to Johannesburg now and uh, I know that Valen's got our sports news for us.